it's been important for us and it's been a relationship worth developing. And I suppose I mentioned earlier that the, the partnership isn't always easy. I think one of the strengths of this partnership is the good relationships that have been built between Strathclyde Police and the SIA at all various levels have meant when the glitches have arrived, have, have arisen, we've been able to work our way through those. When we've had the revocation of licenses that you've talked about, Baroness, um, and sheriffs have passed on comfortable comments because we're feeling our way through what I believe is quite innovative practice around depriving criminals of their assets in this way. Um, the relationships have enabled us to, to work our way through that. And I suppose a two-way partnership um, is constructive and can be challenging enough, but what we have learned over the last year is the importance of involving other partners in this and bringing other people on board, local authorities, uh, the Department of Work and Pensions, UKBA, um, and the HMRC, so that we're actually pulling together all the legitimate, sensible legislative provisions that help us make life more difficult for the organised criminal. SIA is an absolutely critical part of that, I have shown absolute determination to use the provisions that they have been given uh, to work in partnership with the police and other uh, partners. And of course, we're finding a way through all of this, so the bits that the legislation doesn't say is actually, I suppose, the challenges. So we're doing stuff like developing information sharing protocols. Uh, we have been very welcomed down at High Holborn at the SIA headquarters in London. In fact, we've got one of the officers, the detective sergeant, Lorraine Fettis, who's here tonight, I think, somewhere, works there three days a week. And that is showing real dividend for us in terms of building up the relationship between the two organisations, cementing those partnership arrangements, and most importantly, getting the flow of the information out of the sort of the shadows of police intelligence into partner agencies who we trust, that we have the sharing, information sharing protocols with, so that we can exploit it because we're all going in the same direction in terms of wanting to make life difficult for criminals, in terms of wanting to deter and disrupt criminals.